When I was kind of dying, having a child, I was in the hospital for a while and Heather came in one day and she was like, I'm, I have some really good news. And I was like, great, because everything is terrible right now. So what is it? She's like, I met this guy. He's really cute and I really want him to ask me on a date. And it was Billy. And I was like, oh, this is such good news. Got even better when we found out that Billy was a fabricator and a carpenter and Heather was about to open a new business. So I was like, oh, perfect. And guess what? Two months later, Billy was installing all the countertops in Heather's new school. First, I'd like to begin by welcoming everyone and thanking each and every one of you for being here on this most happy of days. I truly can't think of a better venue than Lake Nona for an occasion that I know is not only monumental for the wedded couple to be, but for all of us who are lucky to know and love them as individuals, but even more so as a perfect pairing. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet that person who makes you feel complete. The person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and becomes something so pure and so wonderful that you can't imagine spending another day of your life without them. For Deb, that happened 40 years ago. <laughs> for, for Heather and Billy, that happened about three years ago when they met at Hogwarts. That's true, by the way. They met at Universal in the Hogwarts castle. Uh, Billy and I have been basically best friends since I can remember, and uh, Billy has pretty much been uniquely the same person since I can remember. Um, there's three things about Billy that I cherish the most and the reason why he's one of my best friends and I love him dearly. He's extremely committed to anything that he does and he does it full heartedly. He doesn't ever take shortcuts and when he commits to something, he's serious about it and he does it the right way. He's committed to his friends, his family, and Heather, um, his loyalty. When you make a bond with Billy, that's a bond that is hard to break. <laughs> His honesty. Billy is honest when it's hard to be honest. Sometimes when being a great friend, it means to say those hard things to your friends. But Billy's that type of friend that will tell you because he cares and he loves you so much. I've never seen Heather with somebody who she is more authentically herself with. And we just love you for that, Billy, because you really let Heather be herself and you perfectly and you've been part of the family since pretty early on. Like, my son only knows you as Uncle Bill. And I'm so happy about that. He, like, doesn't even realize you don't technically not in here until, like, this night. Uh, Heather, like Billy, is brutally honest. Uh, I remember when I first met Heather, uh, she told me, out of nowhere, she's like, I think you're wasting your time with the person that you're with, straight up. She said, you could be with someone who treats you like you're important, like Billy treats me. Uh, you could be with someone who loves you, like Billy loves me. You could be with someone who it never feels like you're wasting time with, because I never feel like I'm wasting any time with Billy. And that's when it solidified the fact that this was real love, these were soulmates. No ceremony can create your marriage. Only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance, through talking and listening, helping and supporting and believing in each other, through tenderness and laughter, through learning to forgive, learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let go of the rest. I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you are down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life. Same. Uh, <laughs> uh, I take you to be my best friend, my faithful partner, and my one true love. I promise to encourage you and inspire you and to love you truly through good times and bad. I will forever be there to laugh with you, to lift you up when you're down, and to love you unconditionally through all of our adventures in life together. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Florida, 
It is my honor and delight to declare you married. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. You may seal this declaration with a kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so pleased to present to you the newlyweds, Billy and Heather Eisner. I read that it's tradition to toast the, for the best man to toast the bride, but also to the bride's family, who is so wonderful, and to all the wonderful people, and everybody knows why they're here and why they've been invited. Because you're in the newlyweds' hearts, and now you're in mine. And with all this love, how can my children, all my dear friends, <laughs> help but bring the best out in each other? And everyone around them, and everyone here. So thank you. I toast to the bride, the groom, the family, and all, to all my friends. Thank you.